Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael, you're watching IDB, and just a few minutes ago, Apple went ahead and released iOS 16.0.2. And boy, when this update came out, I was so relieved because my iPhone 14 Pro has been so buggy, and apparently this release is here to fix all of the launch day bugs that were present on the 14 Pro, and also to fix some bugs that were present on all iOS 16 devices. So let's go ahead, jump in right now, and I'll tell you everything that's fixed. So first up on the change log is a fix for the iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max that would cause the camera viewfinder to have a vibration or a shaking effect when you're using it in a third party application. Now, luckily for me, I didn't experience this at all, but based on what I heard on Twitter and on Reddit, a lot of users were very frustrated with this bug when they first got their 14 Pro. So it would happen in an app such as Instagram or Snapchat, and when they would open the viewfinder, it was pretty much unusable. Like it was shaking and vibrating all over the place and the user just couldn't use their camera in a third party app. Of course, it wasn't a hardware issue because when they opened the stock camera app that comes with the iPhone, they weren't seeing the shaking. So luckily it was just a glitch in the software and hopefully 16.0.2 can fix this issue. I want you to leave a comment down below and tell me if you were affected by this bug. So next up on the change log is actually an issue that I did experience on my iPhone. So on the change log, it says the display may appear completely black during device setup. And I did experience this when I was transferring all of my contents from my iPhone 13 to my iPhone 14 Pro on day one. After my iPhone 14 Pro rebooted, the screen appeared completely black until I turned off all the lights and noticed that the phone was indeed rebooting. However, it was at such a low level of brightness that I couldn't even see what was happening on the display. So this could be frustrating for a lot of users when they're trying to set up their brand new phone. And luckily this bug is fixed in 16.0.2. And the next bug fix is probably gonna be the one that most of you were waiting for. Every time you would go to paste something from your clipboard, your iPhone would ask for permission. This would get very, very annoying. Luckily, I don't really use copy paste that much on my iPhone, but I did experience this bug and I can see if you use copy paste a lot, this could get on your nerves a ton. So I'm going to try it out now on 16.0.2 and see if it is fixed. So the previous behavior on 16.0.1 was if you were to copy some text and then paste it in another app, that app would ask for permission. So now let's go ahead and try to paste that text from notes and it should just go ahead like that. So finally in 16.0.2, you're able to copy and paste text without that annoying prompt from the system. And we also do have a nice update for those of you who use the accessibility features on the iPhone. So apparently there was a bug in 16.0.1 where if you were using voiceover after rebooting your phone, voiceover would all of a sudden be turned off. So this could get very annoying, especially if you have vision issues and you rely on voiceover to use your iPhone every single day. So here in 16.0.2, voiceover should work completely as expected. And then the final thing from the official change log is apparently 16.0.2 fixes an issue where on certain iPhone models, the display would become unresponsive after being serviced. Even if it was serviced by an official Apple repair center, certain iPhone 10 models, 10R and 11 displays would become unresponsive after being fixed. And apparently, according to these release notes, iOS 16.0.2 addresses that issue. So I'm curious, let me know in the comments if you have any of those devices and experience that issue. So in terms of performance and battery life, I can't really mention much on this because I literally just installed it on my iPhone. I can say that the update did install very quickly. So I had my phone charging when I installed it and it feels like the update was downloaded and installed within 10 minutes. So a very fast install process. So I figured I would throw something fun here at the end of the video because iOS 16.0.2 addresses a lot of issues for the 14 Pro. I'm assuming a lot of you watching this video do have the 14 Pro and there is something inside of settings that I found that is exclusive to the iPhone 14 Pro. So I figured I'll show you, it is kind of fun. So if we click on accessibility, you then wanna scroll down to audio visual and there's a new option for the iPhone 14 Pro models called power on off sounds. So you can have a unique sound when you power on your phone and when you turn off your phone. So I'll let you listen to those right now.
So those new sounds are kind of fun. I especially like the noise when you turn on the phone and when you're holding it in your hand, you also get some cool haptic feedback as well. So kind of a fun hidden Easter egg for those of you who have an iPhone 14 Pro. So that's gonna do it for me in this video. I wanna hear your thoughts in the comments. So tell me your thoughts on iOS 16.0.2. Does it address any of the bugs you've been experiencing? Definitely let me know in the comments below. Anyways, that's gonna do it for me guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Michael with IDB and I'll see you next time.